Depending on where you are on the globe, cycling today is either a convenient way to get to the store or work, or it's an obsession complete with specific clothing, rabid brand loyalty, and bikes costing over $10,000. Back in the late 1800s, with the introduction of the safety bike, it became an option for postal carriers while delivering mail. At that time, horse-drawn carts were used in rural areas and carriers were footing it in the city. The first bikes were used to deliver mail starting in the 1880s. Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp were shooting it out with the Clantons in Tombstone, but in the larger cities, mail carriers were sorting mail into their bicycle baskets and bags and setting out on their pneumatics to deliver the mail. Only a few years later, in places like Santa Fe, New Mexico, Waterbury, Connecticut, Wichita, Kansas, and Jersey City, New Jersey, mail carriers were becoming proficient at delivering mail on the newfangled wheels. Usually, bikes were only used in areas that had good roads as mud and crowded streets proved more of an obstacle than simply walking. Traffic back then, even though horse-drawn, could still be deadly and many carriers were wounded and some killed by carts and even other daredevil cyclists. Like today, dogs were also a problem and there are reports of these early bike mail carriers being attacked while on the job. Some things never change. One particularly hardy carrier, William Kingsland, had traveled 75,000 miles on his bicycle by the time his 15 years of service was coming to an end in 1913 on the streets of New York. Bike thieves are also something that has unfortunately been around since the invention of the bike. It was not uncommon for carriers' bikes to be stolen while they were busy with their mail. In 1910, a man was caught stealing James Carrard's bicycle from the side of the post office. The thief hightailed it straight to a bike dealer to resell and was quickly caught. He was promptly given a four-month jail sentence. They didn't mess around back then. The mail carriers at that time weren't given bikes. They were expected to provide their own, and bikes back then, especially ones that would hold up day in and day out, were not cheap. You could easily spend $50 on a quality bike at the time, with some bikes costing much more. Catalogs of the period show bikes as much as $150, a princely sum at the time. The carriers were also expected to fix their own flats and mechanicals unless they were in some of the larger towns that kept a mechanic on duty for bike upkeep. While it's pretty uncommon these days to see a postal carrier on a bike, there are still a few places known for their cycling mail carriers. St. Petersburg and Miami, Florida, as well as Sun City, Arizona, still use bikes for their mail delivery. With the future looming and discussions of drones making household deliveries, couldn't we take a page from history and replace a few of those Amazon trucks with bikes? Maybe just for the small packages? Before I go, I'd like to thank Dan Cody for suggesting the subject of this video and also the late Nancy Pope, the former curator and founding historian at the National Postal Museum, as most of the information for this video was from her blog posts. Be safe out there and we'll see you next time. <music>